Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the third video about my DIY spring reverb project, better known as the box o verb here. And if you haven't seen the first two videos, I'll go ahead and link those in the description so you can check them out. But the first video, I basically prototyped the circuit and I really had nowhere to start other than some stuff that I read and I basically used some components and made a circuit. And then in the second video, I figured out a way to really do the wet dry so you could get like a balance of not just the affected tone, but also the original signal and sort of worked that out and did a bunch of sound samples with it. And if you've watched those two videos already, you remember my only real complaint about it, because it sounds great, my only real complaint was that it is prone to feedback. So I started thinking about that. I'm like, you know, how do you control feedback? And typically in, you know, a studio situation or whatever, you use like foam panels or something like that. And so I thought to myself, you know, if I thought of this from the beginning, I would have just sprayed the entire inside of the box with like spray foam before I even started. That would have probably been a better solution. But at this point I already had it built. So I had to figure something out. So I kept thinking, I was like, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? And then I had an epiphany, craft foam. If you've never seen this, you can get this at any craft store. It's just, it comes in these sheets like this and it's just foam. It's just like straight up foam, but it's fairly thin. So it's easy to work with. Here's what I did. So I just built a little isolation chamber around the spring and piezo assembly. And you can see I had some of this acoustic foam as well and I took a little short piece and put it below the spring there. And then I had this little scrap left over. So I was like, what the heck, I'll put that on the top. And this is basically what I ended up with is this little kind of isolation chamber inside of the box. Now I have not tested it yet. So you're gonna be here for the first test, but I can tell you when I shut the box and I didn't really get a good before, but like before when you shut it, it sounded like a hollow box. Now when you shut it, it has like this really solid thump to it. I don't know if that's gonna come through on the camera. Like you can see, I made these stick up a little higher so they would go up into here. And you can see I did kind of around the whole thing there. And I had to trim around a lot of things because I already had components in there. But like I did the best that I could to get that foam, you know, <laughs> as good as possible. And uh, literally just a scissors, Elmer's glue and a ruler to try to cut straight. Uh, that's all I did. But before I started cutting the foam, I did a quick clip with this on the computer over here, an audio clip. So um, what I did is I made note of where all the amp settings were, where all the reverb settings were, the guitar settings, everything. And so now I'm going to do that clip again after, and I'm gonna play the clips back to back for you so you can hear them. And it's just a short little lick, it's nothing special, but you should be able to hear, well, I'm hoping we can hear it. Let's find out, let's find out if we can hear a difference. How about that? Let's do this. So one other thing I realized while I was sitting here, folks, that this actually might be better than the sound clip. Check this out. So if I just kind of let go of the strings here and let it start feeding back and I open the top. So now that spring is exposed. Hopefully you can hear that feedback, right? Hopefully the, you can hear that. Now watch. <laughs> as soon as you shut it, it disappears. If you open it back up again, So I think that's probably pretty telling right there that that foam definitely made a difference. Okay, so hopefully you could tell there was definitely a difference. I could definitely notice a difference on my end. Hopefully it came through on the video as well. It still will feed back and that might just be the inherent nature of a, of a setup like this. But it's, it's a lot more controllable now. Hopefully you could see in those pre-clips, like it just, you could hear it was like on the verge of feedback all the time. Now granted, let me just add, I did have this at a very aggressive level. I had the volume cranked pretty good and a lot of wet signal. So if you weren't looking for something that aggressive, you can certainly dial it down. That's not the only sound this thing can produce. In the previous video, I showed that. But what I'm getting at is, when I was at that level where you're just like on the verge of feedback, 
after the foam, you could tell it was a lot easier to control. It didn't want to just jump right into that feedback. So I think this was a success. Thanks for tuning in and watching these videos. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video or all the videos, give me a thumbs up for me. I'll see you guys soon.